Lucas Media. So Ryan Garcia, who fought Tank Davis last year in his mega pay-per-view fight, said that he knew he was going to lose. Quote, for the first time ever in the back room, I said to myself, I'm losing this fight. I knew right in the back room. Now, this is what Garcia said on the interview with Value Entertainment. Nothing is going right. I'm so weak. None of my punches are coming off sharp. I'm going to lose this fight. I just said to myself, this is going to be crazy. The moment I caught him in the second round, I tried to knock him out. I said, I'm so weak. I have to try and end it early. He recovers and drops me. He then goes and say, I'm going to get everything back in blood. I'm never going to let anyone play with me in negotiations ever again. That will never happen again. So let me get this straight, Ryan. You had the fans pay. I don't know. How much did we pay y'all? $80 and up? Maybe even more than that. But at least $80. For you to know you was going to lose in the back room. But you was talking about, I'm going to beat Tank. I'm going. I'm confident. And, and, and I'm going to shock the world. But you knew you was going to lose. And see, when you took that kidney shot or liver shot. And you took a knee. It did look like you didn't want to keep going. And when the referee counted to 10 and he stopped the fight, then you stand up like, oh, yeah, you know, it's over. So basically, it's come across like, Ryan, you you, you went in there and got a bag and, and got out. Now, I'm going to tell you, you messed up. You didn't have to agree to none of the negotiations. They had this weight law, this, this weight clause and all of that. You chose to give up everything, even... Leonard Ellerby and Tank Davis said they were surprised of everything, all the demands that you gave in to. I would have been like, no, nah, man, no. You know, it's going to have to be fair across the border. We're not fighting right now. But you you wanted to have a fight. You wanted to get a payday. And you went against everybody's wishes. And then to have the nerve to say, I knew I was going to lose in the back room before the fight. So... You know, one thing about, about individual sports, when you think you're going to lose, you're going to lose. This don't make no sense, man, but you're going to have people that's going to make make excuses for Ryan and, and all he was weight drained. I'm not trying to hear none of that. You are a professional fighter. When you sign that dotted deal, that, that sign that contract, there is no excuses. So, no, I don't feel sorry for dude, man. You know, so since you knew he was going to lose, why don't you give me my money back? Because I sure pay for that fight. Give me half of it, something. But you sitting back there in the back room and people didn't pay tens of thousands of dollars in the, in the arena and everybody didn't order all these fight parties. Over a million people supposed to be ordered to fight just for you no use for to go out there and lose. Uh, I'm not trying to hear that, man. You ever notice that every time a fighter loses, he always has some kind of excuse? It's never, I just lost. You know, it's not fear, Tink. It's not fear. But you should have signed a contract. So you had no problem with with them paying you. Why didn't you say, right, man, I knew I was going to lose, man. So I'm not I'm not going to take this money from nobody. You ain't had no problem doing that. So whatever, man. It just it, an, another excuse for one of these fighters. But I just want to get my two thoughts on it. What y'all think?